Hey there, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas, where we explore the extraordinary in the ordinary. Before we dive into today's video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more content like this. Let's get started. In today's video, we are going to learn optimized way of merge merging two arrays in JavaScript. So let's say we have two arrays. First array is having three elements, one, two, three, and second array is having four elements, four, five, six, seven. And when you merge two elements, uh, two arrays, we should have this single array with seven elements. So there are multiple ways you can use. So when merging arrays, especially when they are very large, there is a high overhead when choosing to use array.concat function because concat will create a third array as a result of the operation. And in this case, you can use array.push.apply function, which basically puts a second array in the first one. So what exactly I am talking about? Let's see with one example. Let me open the console first. Okay, so now, Let's say we have this script, JavaScript, and constant array one with one, two, three, three elements, constant array two with four, five, six, and seven. So this is a basic example, but when we are dealing with a large array, a very large array, this specific use case will be really useful to use array.push.apply method. All right. So what you can do, array one, okay, let me array one dot push dot apply. And in this, we will pass array one space array two. And now let's go and try to log array one. Okay, so when you try to log array one, we will get the merged array one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And let's try to log array two. Then it will log four, five, six, seven, right? So this was the array one first array. So this method array dot push dot apply will push this second array into first array so it's so first array will be overridden but second array will be as it is as you can see first array is now updated with this merged array and second array is as it is four five six seven all right so this was a quick way how you can use optimized merge function or optimized merge of two arrays in javascript so as I mentioned, there are multiple ways you can do this, but when you are dealing with a very large array, it's better to use this function instead of concat because concat function is creating a third array. All right. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more content like this. Stay tuned for my next video and hit the bell icon to get notified. Leave a comment down below to let me know what you would like to see next. See you in the next video. Bye.